gas, sir? Are you alright? You passed out. Um, I'm alright. I must have gotten dizzy. Gaster, I'm really starting to worry about you. You're working too hard. It's taking a toll on your health. Whatever it is, it can't be that important. I'm very close to a breakthrough. I'm sure of it. I'm going to get us all out of here. You'll see. I'm alright. I just need time. Look at your poor hands. They look worse every time I see them. Are they giving you trouble? I know you said it was an accident, but... Please, I've asked that we not talk about this. I'm not sure I believe you. I understand that you want to get us out of here, but it's not worth tearing yourself to pieces. This isn't your burden to bear. When the time comes, and the last soul falls, I will break the barrier and do what has to be done. That is my duty as king. But my duty is also to my people, and my friends. And your well-being is more important to me than anything you're working on. I don't want you hurting yourself, not for any reason. I can't lose you too. Stop pushing yourself so hard. It's not your responsibility. Take care of yourself, and I will take care of the barrier. Come on. Some tea will help you relax. You can go back to your work after you unwind a little, alright? If you insist. You've always been too gentle and too kind. You don't have the same darkness inside that I have. If anyone should be making such sacrifices, it will be me. I will get us out of here. No matter the cost. And you will never have to kill anyone again. I'll make sure of it. Entry number. <laughs> Steady progress at a rapid rate. They can speak in sentences now. Subject one is quiet and soft-spoken. A lowercaser, I'm sure, without much attention to detail and taken to mumbling. Two, however, is more confident and clear. Uppercase. Like myself, a voice that demands attention. It does not matter what their fonts are. I did not notice, and it does not matter. They cry and carry on whenever I have to separate them. But I cannot risk leaving them alone unsupervised unless Subject 2 can understand one's condition. What's that mean? It means that if you hurt Subject 1 even a little, even by accident, he will die. What's die? It means that he will turn to dust and you will <laughs> never see him again. Stop crying, I'm talking to you! Since then, 2 has been very careful. Entry number. Since I moved them into the same room, they are much quieter and easier to work with. They chatter constantly. Entry number. Whenever I go to see them, they are holding or touching each other. They are desperate for physical contact. At least they won't ask it from me. They even sleep like that. It doesn't seem like it'll be comfortable. Sometimes. Their souls grow in unison. I believe it is when they are dreaming. Entry mode. They are voracious eaters, and given their rapid development, it makes sense. Out of curiosity, I gave them half a portion one night to see what they would do. They split the difference. I suspect given only a crumb, they'd find a way to share it. I don't know why they learn to be so selfless with each other. It's not a trait I'd think would be inborn. Entry number. I gave them one pillow to see who'd assert dominance and claim it for their own. When I checked on them, they'd torn it up and were playing with the stuffing. Entry number. They never stop asking me questions. At least their vocabulary is growing. What is disappointing? Specimen? Alternating current. Electricity. Marrow. Calcium? Phaser. Forbidden? I did make an annoying error once while I was distracted. What is he? What are we? Is he... me? Am I him? No, you are not the same person. Then what are we? You are things. Though I suppose technically, one could say you are brothers. Brothers? 
He's my brother? Are you a brother too? I made you both. But what are you? Are you us? What are you to us? Quiet! They unfortunately latched onto the word. Brother this, brother that. Perhaps they'll grow out of it. I should have been more careful with my wording. Things cannot be brothers. Entry number. They're starting to read. I'm being careful about what I give them. I don't want them getting ideas about the outside world. Subject one is a fast learner. Two, less so. He struggles with reading, and my hope is that he inherited my... It's a physical problem with his eyes and not a mental one. Bad eyes can be fixed. Even with one's help, he has difficulty. He interprets even the clearest directions in strange ways. He seems intent on sabotaging himself at every turn. One, at least, seems very clever. Why don't we ever see anyone else down here? Are we a secret or something? Perhaps too much for his own good at times. Entry no- <laughs> They smile when I come to see them. They ask me what I do outside. They ask me if they can go outside. Entry number. Subject two. Tried to hold my hand. Entry number. I've made a huge mistake. I've waited too long. The project is in danger. My objectivity is... is at risk of being compromised. I cannot afford a further delay. They are still childlike. But no more time can be wasted. Even this, in the end, was a foolish diversion. It does not matter if they can understand. It does not matter what they look like, or if they can think, or what they feel. This is not what I made them for. I need to regain my focus. I need to regain control. I need to remember why I'm doing this. Why don't my hands look like yours? You and Subject 1 don't look alike, do you? I guess not. I knew when I began what this would entail. I knew what I'd have to do. I knew there'd be no going back. No forgiveness. Decisions were made all for the greater purpose. To create these living tools. To even consider... Such selfish sentimentality gets people killed. There is only one choice. There is only one choice. I told myself I'd make whatever sacrifices necessary to achieve my goals. I'm not going back on my word. I'm the only one who can do this. Who will do this. There are no other options. I'm going to get us all out of here. No matter what it takes, the greatest test of my strength, I am determined. Can you move? No. It, it, it's hard to breathe. I, I, I'm scared. Good. You should be scared of me. I will not fail. It is done. They asked me, begged me, screamed at me to stop. And when I did not, they called out for their brother to save them. When they did not, they called out for someone. Anyone to help them. But nobody came. A lesson we must all learn at some point. It is done, and I must admit, a part of me is curious now what they will do. Their limited worldview must be completely shattered. What will they build out of the pieces? Can they even understand what has happened to them? How will they adapt to this new paradigm? What will change? <coughs> My hand hurts! I can't get it off! I hate it! I hate it! Why did he do this to us? I knew it. 
I knew it. I knew we shouldn't. I knew we couldn't trust him. What did we do wrong? I don't understand. We, we were good, weren't we? It wasn't us. We didn't do anything wrong. It was him. He wanted to, to do this to us. Maybe, maybe he was worried we'd get lost or, or their magic and will protect us from something or- Are you serious? How can you even say that? How long were you screaming while he drilled that into you? Maybe he had to do it that way. Yeah, but not for the reason you think. We're just things to him. He's always said that. He doesn't care about us. He's never cared about us. He can do whatever he wants to us, and who's going to stop him? No one even knows we're down here. It's not like we can get out. God. Oh my god. What is he going to do to us? This is just the beginning, isn't it? This isn't going to stop. It's just... It's just going to get worse. Oh god. No, no, he won't! He won't! He's not like that! He's not... He's not going to... Look at your hand, for God's sake! Don't you get what's going on here? Don't you get what we are to him? That's not... That's not what's going to happen. He's not going to hurt us anymore. Are you joking? He's not, he's not going to hurt us What do you think just anymore? happened? I it. I what on earth do you think is going to make him stop? Not a bad person. He's... Not a bad person. Except for these. Open your eyes. Can't you tell he's not going to stop? Why would he? He's not. He's... What has he ever done for us except... He's not going to. He's... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Are you okay? Jeez. Calm down, calm down. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, shh, hey, shh, shh, calm down. Come on, deep breaths, okay? I'm scared too, alright? But we're okay. We're both okay. I'll figure something out, don't worry. Calm down. It can't. It can't. There has to be good in him. There has to be good in him. There has to be. There's... Shh, shh, breathe, okay? Just try to breathe.